you're going down, you're going down swinging. Everything lined up against you. What are you gonna do? I fooled them, bros. I bunted. As soon as I found out you and Corey had a halfway decent job, I was safe. Couldn't nothing touch me. I wasn't gonna strike out no more. I wasn't going back to the penitentiary. I wasn't gonna be laid in the streets with a bottle of wine. I was safe. I had me a family. I wasn't gonna get that last strike. I was one, I was on first looking for one of them boys to knock me home. To get me home. You should have stayed in my bed, Troy. Then when I saw that gal, she stiffened up my backbone. I got and I got to thinking. I tried. Maybe just steal second. For 18 years, I wanted to steal second. I stood on first base for 18 years and I thought, well, God damn it, Mike, just go for it. Aspiring and capable people like Troy Maxson are let down in their expectations to fulfill their dreams due to their blackness. Troy and Bono symbolize all those African Americans whose lives were full of missed prospects despite their unquestionable capabilities. I've been standing with you. I've been right here with you, Troy. Troy, I got a life too. I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot with you. Don't you ever think I ever wanted other things? Don't you think I had dreams and hopes? What about my life? What about me? Don't you think it ever crossed my mind to want to know other men? That I wanted to lay up somewhere and forget about my responsibilities? That I wanted someone to make me laugh so I could feel good? The main character is Troy, who has many dreams of the blacks about living in America. The harsh truth is revealed to him that by law he is a free man, yet he is abused as a slave by social regulations. Sometimes I wish I hadn't known my dad. He ain't cared nothing about no kids. The kid ain't nothing to him. All he wanted was for you to learn how to walk so as you could start working. And when it came time to eat, he ate first. If there was anything left, that's all you get. The man would sit down with two chickens and give you a wing. You ought to stop that, Pop. Everybody feed their kids, no matter how, how hard times is. Everybody care about their kids. Make sure they have something to eat. The only thing my daddy cared about was getting them bales of cotton to Mr. Lou. It's the only thing that mattered to him. Sometimes I used to wonder why he was living. Wonder why the devil hadn't come and gotten him. And bales of cotton off to Mr. Lubin. And find out he owned money. He should have just went and left him when he saw he couldn't get nowhere. That's what I would have done. How are you gonna leave with 11 kids? And where are you gonna go? He ain't know how to do nothing but farm. No, he was trapped, and I think he knew it. But I'll say this for him, he felt the responsibility towards us. Maybe he ain't treated us the way I felt he should have, but without responsibility, he could have walked off and left us, and made his own way. A lot of them did. Back in those days, what you're talking about, they walked out their front door and just take on down one road or another and keep on walking. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Just keep on walking till you come on to something else. Something else. Ain't you never heard of nobody having the walking blues? Well, that's what you call it when you just take off like that. Troy Maxson speaks to the fantasies of black America in a dominatingly white world. A world where these fantasies were impractical because of the way that prejudice and demeanors were publicly acceptable.